guys, this is my Mila Kunis Cosmopolitan inspired makeup look. Um, I know it doesn't look exactly like her makeup, but it's pretty close. And I did it according to what I have because my features aren't exactly the same as Mila Kunis' features. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll explain why I was gone for so long in my next video, which I'm gonna film right after this. Um, <clears throat> it's nothing too huge or anything. I did make one change. Well, I did after I filmed everything was I blended in this light brown color right here um, into the crease a little bit just to diffuse that color because I felt it was way too strong. Welcome back to my messy room. This is my roommate's bed actually. My bed is over there. Oh, this is my awesome chair that I reupholstered myself. Very proud of this chair. Anyway, enjoy the video. I'll stop talking now. Bye. First I used my primer, I use Sephora Smoothing Primer, it's this green one. And then for my foundation I used Makeup Forever in Matte Velvet Plus in shade 35. This camera decided not to focus, so I filmed this part but it was really blurry at first. Okay, so for this part I used this color by Naked Designer called Honey or Dulce de Leche, it's this color right here. and it's pretty light color, right there. And I've used it all over my lid, and I used it with just a regular blending brush. And then for my Coastal Sense palette, I use this matte bronzy brown, not bronzy brown, purpley brown kind of color, and it's right here. This is one. And I've used uh, my creasing brush. Then I used Max Mythology, which is a really pretty coppery, brown, reddish, glittery color. And with my 222, I just put it, I just blended it in with the brown a little bit. So yeah, that's what I've done so far. And now we're just gonna go into the black colors and I'm gonna use MAC Carpet. Okay, so the 217, um, I'm gonna use my MAC Carpet. Just to make sure I don't get too much fallout from it because Black powder is really hard to clean up once you've got it on your concealer. I'm just going to put a paper right here, just a tissue paper, not a tissue paper, just a regular tissue, and just going to put it into the crease and bring it over this way. Don't be a blending brush and blend those colors up. I'm just going to add in more of that purple from before, the Coastal Sense purples. These two. And I'm just going to add it just in between the black and the, <clears throat> the MAC Carbon and the MAC Mythology. Neutral pink color from MAC. And I use it a lot. So, I'm gonna blend it in with the mythology and bring it up to the brow. Bring it up to under the brow. Okay, next we're gonna do the eyeliner and it's gonna be really awkward to film, so I'm sorry if I'm outside of the frame, I can't exactly see myself. Max Black Track, Max Fluid Line in Black Track. It's this gorgeous, awesome black gel eyeliner. Some of you guys have issues with having a gel liner on your waterline, so if you're uncomfortable with that, or if you're really sensitive to makeup products, I really don't recommend you putting a gel liner on your waterline. Uh, right here, see that pinkish line? Yeah, that's your waterline. I'm okay with it, so I'm just gonna add that in. I'm gonna do it all the way through, so from the outer corner to the inner corner. The 217 Bent Eyeliner. I got this at the makeup show, and it's really versatile. It's really good for this kind of stuff. And make sure if you're using a gel liner on your waterline, make sure you take it off completely after you're done. Because um, if you have leftover makeup on your waterline, it will you might get a cyst or something. So you have to be really clean and really careful with your waterline if you're going to put makeup there. For our angled eyeliner brush, and I'm going to use the black gel liner again. 
and put it into the inner corner. And I'm really going to emphasize my inner corners because I have really, really white set eyes. And um, this will just help them look closer together and make me look more normal. Okay, so next we're going to do the lighter eyeshadows. Um, you know, I noticed that in the inner corners she has a really light eyeshadow. And I'm just going to go in with Max Retrospect. I'm just going to dab it in. going to blend all the colors together. And finally, we're going to do the black liner, or the black eyeshadows, which really pull the look together, because she has a lot of black eyeshadow along here and in here. Trace along the outside outer corner, or outer lid, and then in here. And then here you want to be careful because if you put too much, it's gonna not look so great. So I'm adding the point, like the pointed part. That's what I'm gonna use just to underscore this area. And I'm just gonna stop midway through. And I'm also gonna blend in another color underneath there. going to use a q-tip to fix that outer corner. I'm just going to add it into the inner corner. And I'm also going to take the other end, um, add some a nice light brown. And I'm going to blend it in with the black. And this will really soften that black part. And for blush, I'm going to use Lancome Blush Subtil um, Sheer Amarose. So it's a really pretty pink color. So I'm going to lightly dust it on top. Finally, for the lips, I'm going to use my Yabby Lip Palette. It's my favorite shade. It's this one right here. This gorgeous, really pigmented nude shade. Soft and gentle. Just gonna put it along the highest part of my cheekbone. And, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.